is your friend, Benson E. Brown, and this is Black by Color Only. Um, that was something uh, I heard that was just incredible the other day. Um, on my way to Wilmington with my wife uh, this past Tuesday, uh, I was listening on the radio, and I heard something, like I said, kind of interesting. I don't know if you all remember the lady, uh, Peg, uh, Peggy, uh, I think, Peggy Joseph, uh, she made the statement back in 2008 during Obama's first campaign that uh, she would never have to worry about putting gas in her car or worry about paying her mortgage and that uh, if she helps Obama, Obama out that he will help her out as if Obama knew her personally. I don't know where she got that idea, but uh you know, she was singing his praises and everything, just like a lot of people are doing today. And uh, I just heard the other day that uh, someone caught up with her, and uh, she's now calling Obama a liar. And, um, well, there there are several people who are turning, uh, turning against Obama, but there are still some holdouts, you know, they still think that um, the Republicans are messing up everything and that they're the ones who are keeping Obama from doing what he wants to do, even though for uh, uh, for a good part of the mm, almost two years of, of his uh, first term, uh, the Democrats had the, had the majority. So you can't blame the Republicans or the conservatives because he's black. You know, y'all y'all like to do that and everything without uh, searching your facts, but you just throw that out uh, for intimidation. But uh, she's turned against him and said and has called him a liar. You know, like the Obama phone lady. You know, she was singing the praises about Obama because she said uh, Obama gave her a phone, and uh, later on she recanted her statement because she realized that Obama was just using her and. That's all this hope and change is for. So, you know, people, how's that hope and change going for you anyway? I know that sounds cliche, but really, how is that hope and change going for you anyway? And I know there are a lot of you all who are in denial. Y'all still think Obama has done a good job. But that's all you say. You say he's done a good job, but what has he done that's been a benefit to this country? But you'll sit there and say, oh, he's done a good job, and you Republicans, you know, and everything, which I'm not a Republican. You know, uh, that might surprise a few of you all. I'm not a Republican. I'm an independent. I'm a conservative independent, you know, but uh, most of all, I'm a born again Christian. You know, I just vote for whoever uh, fits along with my morals, you know. So uh, but you all, the the Obama worship is over. Okay, the uh, the novelty has worn off of Obama. Obama is not the. Messiah, the man walking on the water that you thought he was. You know, uh, he has lied to you. You know, he has deceived you. Uh, our job situations aren't getting better. Gas prices are higher. You know, the economy is in a shambles. But you all want to re- want to blame the Republicans and the conservatives for that. But Obama needs to take responsibility. This is his economy. He's been in... He's uh, he's been our president now for more than five years. When is he going to step up and take responsibility for the condition that this uh, country is in? And uh, Miss Joseph, I want to apologize to you uh, and say I'm sorry for your situation that uh, uh, Obama didn't deliver the rainbow dreams and candy streams that he promised you. But this is what you get when you put your trust in a man and not in God. I'm Vincent E. Brown. I am signing off. And until the next time, I'll see you on The Rebound.